Welcome to Cooking with Michelle. We're here today at the Cooperative Extension Office Kitchens. And Michelle, this is great. It smells so good in here. What are we going to be cooking? I know you are so excited. I'm so and excited. I am too. For the first time of in, in this show, we're yes. going to be cooking with meat. Oh. We're going to be using beef, but we're going to do it in a healthy way. A healthy way. Yes, and we're going to be cooking mini meat loaves. Really? Yes, but in a healthy way. So I hope you like them. Are you kidding? Mm, it <laughs> smells talking. good. Yes, it does smell good. I can't wait to get started on this. While I wash, you kind of give me a... Uh, we're going to start with the ingredients. That's good. Okay, so for the mini meat loaves, we're going to need one pound of lean or extra lean beef. Uh, we also need uh, one and a half cup of salsa. And what we're going to do, we're going to divide that one and a half cup in three... Uh, in three servings or three different dishes. So you have a half cup and a half cup and a half cup. I hope that makes sense. So the other thing that we're gonna need, we're gonna need one egg slightly uh, beaten. So I'm gonna help Wayne to do this because I forgot to do it. Uh -oh. So uh, I'm not trying to take your place, well, but okay. it's okay. okay. Okay, we got it. I'm gonna leave that there. Okay. Okay, we also need uh, onion, a quarter of a cup of onion. A of a cup of onion. And I'm already chop it for you. Thank you. So we got that. Yeah. We also need uh, one, a quarter and a cup of dried um, breadcrumbs. Breadcrumbs. And a dash of pepper, black yeah. pepper. That's a dash? Well, a little bit more. <laughs> Or less? Uh, no, I, that's pretty much. That's, a, that's okay. I love pepper. Okay, me too. I love so pepper. you know, that's my dash. That's your dash. <laughs> that's okay. right. Your dash may vary according to my. Life. That's right. So uh, if you see, most of the times you have all these ingredients at home. Yes. The only thing that you're going to really spend your money is on the meat. And yes, lean meat is a little bit more expensive, mm. but it's healthier. It so is. do we want to spend that money on medical bills, or do we? We want to spend the money and the good meat. Well said. Now, let me ask you, the, I notice in, in the grocery stores, when you go to the meat counter, you find uh, in, in ground beef, you find different percentages mm -hmm. of the meat versus what? The fat? That's right. Uh, it's actual meat or it's meat and fat. That, mm -hmm. Now, I, I, I use 93% lean. That's perfect. What does that mean? Mm -hmm. that, that means that you're getting the meat and not the fat. So that's only 7% of fat. That's correct. Whereas the other, some of the other things. Uh, is, is like sometimes like 20% of the fat. Really? And we don't want that. We don't want the fat. Mm -mm. Well, what no. does that do? That clogs your arteries, doesn't it? Correct. And, you know, next month we're going to be celebrating the heart uh, month, that's awareness right. month. And we want to have a healthy heart. So yes. um, let's watch in our meats. You know, it's not, um, we don't recommend to eat meat every day, but if you're gonna meet, if you're gonna eat meat, <laughs> be sure that you're right, uh, if you're eating the healthiest meat eat that healthier you can. Meat. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, can you, can you taste the difference? I mean, is it? Some people said they can, but uh, I, I prefer, you know, meat. I don't want the fat. Yeah, I don't want the fat either. No. Yeah, I would like the meat myself. So are you okay. ready? Bring it on. Okay. Well, the first thing that we need to do, we need to heat our oven or preheat our oven to 350 degrees. Okay. And we already did that. So yeah. we are good with that. We're going to combine all the ingredients. Oh, boy. Okay. Where that That is easy. So if you want, and I was mentioned while you were washing your hands, mm -hmm. we divide the salsa in three recipients. We did. Mm -hmm. And that was, that's one cup and a half. But right now we're just going to use one container and we're going to put it in here in our bowl. Okay. Now this is the, the three mm -hmm. total, mm -hmm. one and a half cups. Mm -hmm. So that would be, this is a half a cup then. That's right. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is a half cup. So we put it in here. That's right. All right. Mm -hmm. Do I use something? Um, you can't just pour it. Okay. You're being so... Um, well, I'm trying. I know. I'm, trying really <laughs> See, I'm, not, I'm, not a I'm so excited. I cannot wait to eat it. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> I know. All right. And okay. I love my veggies, but oh, yeah, this is going to be good. Be okay, good. let's add the onion. Onion. Mm-hmm. Okay. Right. Well, it doesn't matter the order that you mix this. Matter. No, you're free Red today. Crumb. Yeah, go ahead. Hey, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> okay, breadcrumb. And a dash. Do your dash. <laughs> of pepper. Okay. okay. Now. In the egg. The egg. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh boy. This kind of recipe is when you get home and you say, "Oh no, what do I'm gonna cook?" Well, this is so easy and quick that 
you know, it's great. We can start mixing everything if okay. you want. Sure. Okay. Mix it all up. That's here. right. All right. I can move okay, these for you. Okay. Bria McCoy's on camera. Today. Wow. Well, thank you so much, Bria. She's doing a great job. How are we doing, Bria? Good. Perfect. All right. I know you cannot wait to eat what we're um, we're so having. Good. This is nothing like we've ever cooked. Before, no, that's we? right. We all just want to start the year fresh <laughs> and excited, and uh, and yeah. I have a lot of recipes planned for this year. Oh, so boy. keep watching us. Oh yeah, I will. Okay, good, good for you. <laughs> I love this show. Oh, me too. <laughs> okay. Okay. How's that? Perfect. Okay. Now. And now we add the meat. The meat. Mm -hmm. All of this? Yes. At one time? It's one pound. One pound mm -hmm. of ground beef like so. That's right. right. Now, mix mm -hmm. it up? Mix it up. Okay. You're doing perfect. You're a good teacher. Oh, thank you. What is it supposed to look like? I'm, it's supposed to look like a blend of... A blend of, mm-hmm, mm -hmm. yes. Okay. Right. So be sure you see in here we have all of the ingredients. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So be sure that everything blends really good. Okay, okay and right. I'm gonna get a tray. All right, well, I'll, I'm not happy with the way this looks just yet, so. Okay, you're good. Give me a minute here, okay? Good. Yeah. You're exercising right now. <laughs> you're doing good. Yes, I am. And with this amount of meat, we're gonna get five portions, okay? So five we're gonna portions. need to divide the, the these in five, five balls five or, mm-hmm. Okay. We're getting there. That's right. You're almost there. Almost. Got, got it? Got a little more to do here. This is a workout. No, I, I know. I, I'm tired already. And you're just watching. And I'm just watching. <laughs> I can't wait to eat it. That's why oh, I'm like, okay, come so, on, Wayne. Smells so good. I'm coming. I'm coming. Out. Come on, Wayne. Come on, Wayne. <laughs> it looks great, and it smells fantastic. Mm-hmm. Are we getting there? We're getting there. Okay. Do you want me to start uh, putting the vegetable oil? Well, actually, I don't have vegetable oil, so we're going to have olive oil. I love olive instead. oil. Okay. Yeah. So I can Papa just. Papa was my hero. Okay. okay. <laughs> I'm just going to spray the um, tray. Good. And we don't need a lot because we already have a little bit fat from the meat. So right. okay. just a little bit. Okay. Okay. So. Let's and when you're ready, we're just going to make five uh, balls. Five meatloaf balls. That's right. Okay. So we'll break this into fifths. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll take the first fifth out of the center. Wow. Uh, look at your technique. <laughs> I'm impressed. <laughs> Okay. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay. All right. Now, the center we have. One. You're calculating everything I'm to be to equal. Yes. Okay, right. good. So we make it into a ball. Okay. As such. Is that all right? Is that big enough? It doesn't look big enough. A little bit more, maybe. A little more meat here. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 Perfect. Hey. I'm glad that you wash your hands. Uh, me too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then I'll divide these into equal parts of four. Mm -hmm. Or close to it, anyway. Uh, you're doing good, I, okay. I think. They're the same, they're identical. Are they really? <laughs> kind of. <laughs> <laughs> kind of, what do you mean kind of? Yeah, they yeah, are. Okay. I know what you mean, I know what you mean. Okay, now we want a ball here. We don't want to. We don't want to flatten them out. We we can flat them a little bit, oh, okay. and that will help with the cooking. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. All right, now third one, number three. Number three. Number three. Number three on the chart today. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> All 
Okay. I can wait, Wayne. Come you can, on. Huh? Okay, I'm hurrying here. I'm hurrying here. <laughs> Number three. Good. What do you think we can use to um, eat with this? Like, what would be a good To eat side? with this? A good mm -hmm. side order? Mm -hmm. uh, gee, that's... Well, anytime ground beef comes to mind, mm -hmm. the first thing I would think most people think about would be some sort of a potato or perhaps a fried, but that's mm -hmm. not very healthy. No, it's not. It's not very healthy. What would be mm -hmm. something healthy? Well, for me, I would like to have a salad with this, I think, you know, too. Yes, of course. Yeah. Maybe some cauliflower? Oh, that huh? would be good. Hey, how about, how about some, uh, well, anything green? Yeah, anything, anything green, I think. But cauliflower was a great idea. Mm. Well, you know, it just popped up. You You're know. just so yeah. good. Oh, wow. Yeah. Cauliflower. Yeah. I like that. Uh, do like you all. remember when we did the tuna patty, patties? Yes, I remember the tuna oh. patties very well. Well, yeah. I can tell you have been practicing. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> I've been practicing. I don't see any state in here. <laughs> Okay, that's a little small and this is a little oh, big. It's okay, come okay? on, yes. Okay. Right. You're yeah. in a hurry, aren't you? I am, I can't wait. <laughs> yeah, this is good. I'm stuff. telling you, you're going to love this. I can. I know I will because it just smells great and I mm -hmm. love Although my doctor says, you know, you don't eat so much red meat. I love red right, meat. Right, and you And if you, in proper proportions, you can do this, right? That's right, and once hey. a week. Hey. Good. Okay. So the way I do it, yes. I put my fingers inside mm -hmm. so I can make like a little hole, not, not like mm. a big hole, but mm. just that way I can hold the salsa inside. Oh, hey, great. We put yeah. salsa on this. Yes. Okay, something like that? A little bit bigger. A little bigger. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Uh, like that? Mm -hmm. Okay. How are we doing? Perfect. Is that okay? You can make them like... Bigger? bigger. Okay. Mm -hmm. Not too deep, Not but too bigger. Deep. I mm -hmm. see. I got you. Okay. And that's just my preference. Okay. Mm -hmm. That way it holds the salsa there. Yeah, because we're going to put salsa on mm -hmm. this. Oh, boy. Mm. Remember that we use one part for the mix. Now we're going to use the ne the second part to put on those in, on oh, top of yeah. them. Yeah. Yeah. Another, another half cup. Mm hmm Yes. Yeah. Well, you had a cup and a half, and mm -hmm. you divided that into thirds. Mm hmm Okay. That looks delicious. It does. Boys, it smells good, too. Mm-hmm. And you know, when we look at other recipes of meatloaf, uh -huh. it's not that healthy. No. So this is a great option if, you're, if you love meat. I love meat. I love meatloaf. And this is a fantastic option. Mm hmm I think I'm going to fall apart here. Uh-oh. But, but that's, <laughs> it's okay. After it's cooked. It'll be okay. Mm -hmm. but let me pass right. you this also because I don't want you to contaminate the other one because okay. you have been touching oh, yeah. the meat. Food contamination. That's yes, very important. Yes, we don't want to contaminate anything. No food and I give you the spoon. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So, a little salsa in each one. That's right. And that's going to help, um, you know, uh, with the juicy. It's not going to get dry. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. I, yeah. And this is a tomato salsa that you can make or, you know, you can purchase from the store. Just be sure that it's low in sugar, low in sodium. Low in sugar, mm -hmm. low in sodium. And this, this brand is like 10, uh, 10 calories in one tablespoon, I think it is, or something. That's not bad. Very, very low. All right. And each one of these is getting approximately a tablespoon. Mm -hmm. That's right. Approximately. Okay. Wow. Now, the third half cup will mm -hmm. be added after we cook after them. after okay. the 20 we're going to put right now we're going to put these for 20 minutes in the oven to 350 degrees okay so i hold it oh, for thank you thank you and then um do you want to go and wash your hands may right i now? yes oh, please boy, okay. do <laughs> okay, thank, uh oh thank you but we're going to put um them uh at the, in the oven again well no again but for 350 at 350 and we're going to do it for 20 minutes okay i'm just going to wait for uh wayne and i want him to wash his hands because we don't want any kind of uh, cross contamination in here 
So and that's why we need to be sure that they are cooked really good. What a lovely singer. <laughs> okay. You see, normally when I do my classes, they sing the ABCs while they're washing their hands. They sing A, really? B, C, D, E. Oh, yeah, I that <laughs> song, yeah. Yeah, but you sing something different to wash your hands. That's the way the teachers uh, teach the kids the to, wa mm -hmm, to, watch, to wash their hands. That way they wash oh. them for enough time. Oh, okay. Because yes. you do have to, you can't just throw your hands mm -hmm. under the water. That's and right. Them to be clean. Mm -hmm. oh. You need to do it for 20, 20 seconds. <laughs> Okay. Don't wash your hands for 20 minutes. No, no, please don't. don't. Have any hands left. That's right. <laughs> okay, are we ready? We are ready. Okay, let's put them in the uh, oven we, for. We are, we are preheated to 350. Right? Yes. Okay. And I'm going to come this way. That way I can put the timer. All right. Woo, okay. okay, and we're just going to do 20. 20 minutes. 20 minutes, and we're going to start. But while we have this in here, why we don't talk about some food safety? Let's talk about food safety. Okay. okay. Remember, uh, when we are uh, um, cooking with meat, we need to be sure that the internal temperature uh, is the recommended, right? The temperature inside the meat while it's cooking? That's it right. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes. Right, do you do? know for beef, for ground beef, do you know what's the internal now? Can I show you? 98.6. Uh, no. <laughs> Many people will respond 350 because this is what we put in the oven, oh, okay. right? But um, when we take the stuff out of the oven, the first thing that we need to know, especially when we're working with meat, we need to use the thermometer. Oh, not the thermometer. Yes. Uh, yeah, so, and how do we know what's the internal temperature recommended for beef? Mm -hmm. We have in here an extension, we have uh, handouts from the USDA, and it has a chart with different uh, temperatures. Do you oh. want me to show you what we have Let's in here? Let's look at what you have. Yeah. Okay, perfect. All right. Let's come this way. Let's go this way. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, now this is the temperatures, the internal temperatures that are recommended by the USDA. So, for example, if we are working with beef, pork, lamb, steaks, 145 is the internal temperature. Okay? The internal temperature. Yes. Not how hot it is on the outside. No. and it's in the middle of the meat. And many people will tell you, well, it's ready when it gets brown, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, that is not true because uh, different meats has different pigmentations. So we cannot trust by the color. Or we cannot just put the uh, fork or, mm. no. These, those are things that, yes, we learn from our parents, from our grandparents. Right. But we need to use a thermometer. Thermometers are not expensive. We can find them at the grocery store. Yeah. Uh, they're very uh, easy to read. Yeah. We recommend the digital thermometers. Digital thermometer. Michelle, what happens if it's not cooked to whatever it's supposed to well, be? Well, we can get sick, and we don't want you to no. be sick. No. 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 Sick. And especially, you know, for children or for older people, it's going to be very hard to recu recover from an illness, for a food um, poisoning. So, younger people children mm -hmm. and older adults in pregnant more, women and pregnant women are more mm -hmm. susceptible to illness that's from, right from undercooked meat that's right or anybody that is already ill so or anybody that's already sick can make, mm -hmm. can make them worse that's right and okay. we want to protect our community and that's we want a cultural awareness about food safety okay. and that's what we're doing this we're going to start our year really good and we're going to start using our thermometers uh, for fish, 145. 145. Mm -hmm. Okay. And like today, we work with uh, ground beef. Okay. For ground beef, pork, veal, lamb, or um, well, lamb, it's 160. Go ahead. Many people say, well, I would love to make a uh, meatloaf with turkey. Well, you can. Be sure that you do it at 165. So turkey at 165. Mm -hmm. Chicken, all, any, any fowl. That's right. Mm -hmm. Fowl, turkey, chicken, or duck, mm -hmm. whole pieces or ground go to 165. That's correct. Ground beef, if you got a cow, ground beef is 160. <laughs> now, what's the difference between this beef and pork and this beef and pork? This is ground. Oh, and I this see. is a steak, okay. roast or chops. Steak, roast or chops, mm -hmm. 145 with mm -hmm. a three minute rest time. What mm -hmm. does that three minute mean? Uh, after you take it out, 
for three, you let it rest and for three, rest minutes, for three minutes, minutes, and, and then, then mm -hmm, and then take the temperature. Oh, Yes. And then take the temperature. Yes. Mm -hmm. So you take it out of the oven, mm -hmm. let it sit for three minutes, and then check the temperature. Yes. And be sure that you don't take the temperature close to the bone because you will not get a good, uh, the right number. The bone holds the heat. Right. And, mm -hmm. okay. and also be sure that you, you don't do it like straight like this because you're going to touch the pot or whatever you have. Um, so you can go in from the side. That's right. Mm hmm you are learning so hey, much you're today. You're a good teacher. Oh, thank All you. Right. So beef, pork, lamb, veal, mm -hmm. ground, 160. Mm -hmm. Egg dishes, 160. Egg dishes. Nobody. Have you ever used your thermometer for eggs? No. Have you ever used your thermometer for meat? <laughs> I don't have a thermometer. Oh, no. Well, now we know. I'll have one. That's right. Before the day is over. Good. So if you have cow or, or, or chicken. Mm hmm. Cows or chickens, it's 160. Well, don't get confused because we have chickens oh, we have chicken in here. here. Mm -hmm. This is just for the eggs, just for eggs. egg dishes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Egg dishes, 160, mm -hmm. and turkey, chicken, duck, 165. Mm -hmm. And like I said, this is from the USDA, but if you want a handout, if you want a little card to put in your kitchen, this I, I can't remember this. I need to have something that, you know, every time when I'm cooking, oh, let me see what's the temperature. So just go back to your chart. So if you want a chart like this, just come to the office or give us a call and we'll send you one. And you're at the corner of George and Chestnut Streets, mm -hmm. Goldsboro, corner of George and Chestnut, park in back, and there's, you can see the sign where the door is. That's and right. Because people don't always have time to go online to check. Right. They is can... it done yet mm -hmm. .gov. Is it done yet .gov is, mm -hmm. a, is one site you could go to. Mm -hmm. Yes. But if you have the chart, it's so much easier. We, we can help you. We're here to help you. Okay. So. Let's go back to the counter and see where we Perfect. continue. Okay? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, Michelle, now, mm -hmm. what are we doing now? Well, after 20 minutes uh, of our meatloaves being in the oven, mm -hmm. I think it's time to get them out and see what happened. Ooh, I am so excited. I'll hold it for you. Thank you. Okay, mm -hmm. here we go. It is hot. So yes, be careful. All right. Oh, they are beautiful. Yes, they are. Oh, oh do you need help? Oh, <laughs> wow, you got it. How about that? <laughs> I saw that in a movie once. Oh, perfect. They are beautiful. Look at that. You see that? Oh, I can wait. Wow, those are beautiful. But you know what? We need to wait 10 more minutes. We do. But before we put them back in the oven for other, for 10 more minutes, yes. we need to add more salsa because we want to be sure that this is like really juicy and good. Yes. So let's get a spoon over there. Okay. The, I think with a small spoon you small can. Spoon? Mm, yes. A and just add a little spoon. bit, a tablespoon, yes. Okay, that's with the big T. Mm-hmm. All right. Now. And remember that in the beginning, we divide the salsa in three parts. This is why, because the first part was in the mix. Right. The second part, we put them on top. Right. And then the third part, it goes at the end, because we really want them to be juicy. Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and delicious. Okay. So tell me how I do this. Just put it the same way we did it before. Okay. Just All put right. it in the middle. It's a little mm -hmm. over the middle. There. Yes. All right. Should I save any or just use no, it No, now you can use it all. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Is that about right? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. boy. Boy, that smells good. And today we have been talking a lot about food safety, right? Mm -hmm. And we even uh, show you the different internal temperatures, the safe internal temperatures that we use, uh, or they're recommended for the, from the USDA. Right. So how we know that this is safe to eat? How do you know? Well, Wait a minute, a thermometer. That's right. <laughs> so as soon you finish, yes, we are going to check the internal temperature because right now I'm sure that they're 160. And remember, we're using 160 right. because we're using beef. If we were using turkey, yeah. then it's 165. Oh, mm -hmm. turkey has to be... Hotter. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, what does that do? And this is the internal temperature. We just want to be sure that all the bacteria from the food is killed. And the only way to kill bacteria is to, with heat. With heat. So, and we to need to be sure that it's the right temperature. Not the temperature that we want, okay. the temperatures that are recommended and that they have been tested. Okay, so we've got to be at 160 degrees for, for, for ground, beef. ground beef. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Or pork. Or pork. I can hold these for okay. you. And right. now use Mr. Thermometer is over there. Mr. Thermometer here. Okay. Okay. All right, now on. Let's, yeah, let's take this thing oh, out. Oh, yeah, I, got, I knew mm -hmm. that. I know, you know. <laughs> you know. 
<laughs> okay. All right, now turn it on. Mm -hmm. And it's in Fahrenheit. Okay. 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 And we need to reach 160. 160. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is it still blurry? Mm -hmm. So be sure that when you put it inside the meat, it doesn't touch the tray. Ah. Because the tray is really hot and it's hotter than our meat. Perfect. And if you're working with different meats, remember, we need to try the different pieces, just to be sure. Oh, so we're going to try another one. Mm -hmm. Let's try another right, one. Let's cool down now. Mm -hmm. Should we try more? No, that's, that's good. So and try. remember, because we're going to add 10 more minutes. Oh, yeah. So let's do it. I All can right. hold these for you. Okay. And let's put it back in the oven, the same temperature, 350 degrees. 350. Mm-hmm. Right. So, how long has this been in? Uh, 20 minutes. 20 minutes. So, we're just going to add 10 more minutes. Okay, there we go. Mm -hmm. And we're just going to use this timer. Mm -hmm. And we're just going to put 10 more minutes. Okay. And Excellent. we'll be good. All right. Michelle, I just heard the, the oven beep. That's our 10 mm -hmm. minutes is up, right? That, that's nice. All right, I'm going to open the oven. Perfect. Oven right. Oh, good. I like that job. You like that job. <laughs> Of an opener. Okay, do I turn something off here? I, I do it. Oh, okay. You take care of the meat. I, sure I don't want are. Brianna to eat everything. Okay. Wow. <laughs> look at that. Look at that. Ooh, look at this. Mm. That is gorgeous. Well, I have plates in here. Okay. All righty. I can Thank wait. George. We'll get one for Bria here. Mm hmm. Okay. Okay. I'm having trouble with my your uh, fine motor skills. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, right. Thanks a lot. Okay, here we go. All right. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh you thank are. you. All right. You're quite welcome. And we'll, this is, uh, we'll get this one for Bria here. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, we'll put that one over there. And here we go. I'll take this. No, wait a minute. I want this one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Sorry. Yes, yeah, okay. I'm, I'm busy right now. I can tell. Uh, you're not paying attention. <laughs> no. That's okay. Wow. And you know what? This is really juicy, too. It is. In spite of the fact that it's 93% lean, mm -hmm. but the juice has got to be coming from the tomato sauce. Is that right? Yes. And can you guess how, much, how many calories? 600? Five? 150. Get out of here. Yes. There's 150 a, calories in this? 150 calories. That's beautiful. If you do your regular meatloaf, yeah. you know how many calories oh, are in meatloaf, bunch. right? Yeah, closer to what I said the first time. Right? That's right. So in this one, it is only 4.5 uh, grams of total fat. So not bad for if, to be in a meat. Uh, carbohydrates, 7 grams. Fiber one grams and sodium. We always worry about the sodium. Yeah. Only 170. 170. Mm -hmm. That yes. is great. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if you remember in one of our videos we made uh, the salsa with corn and beans. Yes, I remember. Well, that. you can substitute the salsa for that one. Oh, really? And it will taste a little bit different, but it will taste really good. This is absolutely delicious. Okay, let me this try. This is delicious. You try it. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sorry. Mm-hmm. This is really good. Wow, Michelle. This is fantastic. Mm. All right. And only 170 some calories. No, 150. I mean 150. Mm -hmm. 150 calories. And this is a good portion. You have your veggies with the tomatoes, mm. your protein, and you can add a salad with this. And Really good. It, it's, it tastes so good. And it's got a little bit of spiciness to it, mm -hmm. which it I happen to love. Mm -hmm. Not everyone likes a spicy flavor. This has just a tiny hint of it. That's right. And that really makes it good. Mm -hmm. Just a little kick. Well, this is delicious. And what do you call this? Mini meatloaves. M-I-N-I. -I. That's right. <laughs> mini meatloaves. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes mini sounds like mini. Yeah, but really, you know, like they're several. not that mini. This is a good portion. There's not that mini. This no. is a good portion. <laughs> These are, they're not that many. It is a good portion. And we made five. So we did make five from a pound of a pound, pound of hamburger. Mm -hmm. This, a ground beef. I didn't mean to say hamburger. 
It's ground beef. Ground beef. And 93%. you can use turkey. And you can you use want. turkey, but you have to go to 165 degrees. Wow, hey you're a good student. Woo. Thank you. Thank you. I'm learning here. Okay. Perfect. All right. And uh, to get more information about this, what does anyone do? Well, they can contact Cooperative Extension at 919-731-1525. All right. Very good. Michelle Estrada, this is Cooking with Michelle. And we thank you very much, Michelle. Well, thank you. Fantastic. See you next month. See you next month.